What's up, everybody? Welcome to my performance review for Mad Max. This game is awesome. It plays like Batman. Sort of. But it's a huge open desert. And you get to drive around in this car called the Magnum Opus that you can upgrade. There's a lot of different characters and, and a dog that can sniff out mines, but this isn't really like a review for how how cool the game is. This is a performance review for my computer, my budget computer, which at right uh, currently finished building, spent about mm, three hundred and eighty dollars building it. Let me show you my settings. Hold on. Everything that is that can be maxed out is maxed out 1400 by 1050 59 hertz borderless full screen because i use uh skype in the background and whatnot so everything except these things off everything that's maxed can maxed well you get the idea max settings i'm hoping to get a uh 1980 by yeah 1980 by 1200 p monitor soon Right now I'm just taking out this camp called the Edge. Uh, without recording I average about... Mm, ooh, that's a lot of gas. I'd say between 90 and 100 frames a second. What am I doing? Destroy oil pumps. Oh, I gotta get up there. I don't want this video to just drag on, so I'm not gonna do all that stuff. But I just wanted to show people how playable the game is. I'm on a uh, W3580. It's a Xeon version of the i7-980X. some scrap. You collect scrap. I'll show you garage here. You collect scrap and then you can upgrade your car. Right now I'm using a pre, uh, pre-built what's called an Archangel. It's called the Jack. Pinky finger, celestial bones. That one actually kind of looks kind of cool. I got the pre-order bonus car body. Oh, it's going to do that again, huh? Sometimes it the keys don't register properly. I got a I got the pre-order body called the Ripper. If it'll load. I swear it's usually not that slow. Must just be because I'm recording. The Ripper car body. Shouldn't I have Shovel Face installed? Shovel Face is for... The Jack. Oh, you can just change very quickly on the fly. Okay. Is that it or that? Anyways, you spend your points in your scrap to update your characters and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. You can even change the way that he looks. Changes, like, his beard and stuff. I'm actually... That looks kind of cool, though. But I'm wondering what the other ones look like, because you, you, you can't see them until they unlock. Um, let me drive around a bit. Where am I going? I'm lost now. There we go. 
just a performance review. If you want a review on how cool the game is and all its features, you could, there's IGN or something. This is Chum Bucket. He's the uh, mechanic that runs the car, the garage. I have these uh, decals because they scare away lesser cars. It's annoying to try to fight them all. The car's got like a harpoon weapon. And then you have this massive sniper rifle that you can take out, you know, far away snipers with it. Because if you get close, they'll shoot you. And it's cool because you can see the glint of the of their uh, scope. And it, it like shines in your eyes and the screen gets this, uh, like a flicker on it, like a sunspot. And you, that that's to let you know that someone is zeroing in on you with a scope. Actually, come to think of it, there should have been a sniper in this camp. See, that guy's a lesser kind of warrior. He doesn't want to mess with me because I have these decals. Otherwise, he would have rammed into me when I was in my sniper uh, using my gun. And then Chumbucket, whenever you get out, or if you're just sitting still, he'll fix the car. Sort of like Far Cry, they just kind of wrench it, the engine a little bit, and that fixes it. Even if it's on fire, if it pulls out of a uh, fire extinguisher, it's, it's pretty crazy. That's a fun game, and I'll tell you something, I got it on G2A.com for like $18 yesterday, and it it's like $60 on Steam. I'll put a link in the description, but the, the games that are on G2A, they go quickly, so I don't know if you'll be able to get it at the same price that I did. But it'll be good to know about that website so you can get games quicker and cheaper. Let's see who's in here. Drinking some water. I got full water and full health. You have to find water to uh, keep your health up. It doesn't go down if you're thirsty, but when you get hurt, you can drink water and it brings your health back up. Or you can like stomp rats out and eat them or eat maggots out of dead bodies it's it's pretty brutal what's up a-hole oh <clears throat> bitch i can't carry any more knives You go around getting rid of these camps, and then your people can get in them, and they'll produce scrap for you, which is used, to, like I said, to upgrade your shit. Weapons. Can't really keep them, but they... they oh, toilet. And then you find uh, shit like this. We will not sell you food. We will not allow you to entry. Only military personnel allowed intruders will be shot. Cool. You can find like pictures in people's journals, you know, historic relics, things like that. I was hoping to fight some more people, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. The game's very playable. I, of course, have a GTX 960. I would like to try it on my... What's this? Oh, okay. I would like to try it on my 650 Ti, but... It's so tedious to tr swap out graphics cards like that and re-up all, re all the drivers. Hey. I don't want to hear that crap, guy. Oh. Some of the guys are... A little more difficult to beat. I picked this one guy up like John Cena and slammed him on his neck and you could hear it break and he flopped over. It was it's pretty brutal.
those are the uh, oil pumps that I have to destroy. There's another insignia. I don't want to waste my shotgun ammo. Wow, there's eight scrap here. There, I hope there's four on that other side, because if not, I missed a bunch. Hell of a view. It's chugging a little bit. Normally it doesn't do that. Those guys hit pretty hard. I'm not that high level yet. My gear's not that great. I don't want this video to drag on. If I wasn't recording, it wouldn't be so choppy like that. That's really upsetting me. And I don't want to turn the settings down. I want to prove that it can run at the settings. That I'm, you know, run on max settings. The, the GTX 960 is a hell of a graphics card for $200. Most people put it down because of the 970 and the 980, but if you don't have the money to afford the 970 and the 980, the 960 is still an amazing card. I only have one shotgun shell. I have to keep telling myself, there it is. Oh, <laughs> I slammed him. I have to keep telling myself that I'm not Batman. Because Batman attacks much faster. Damn it. He doesn't dodge fast enough. He's gonna die. Fury. Oh, German suplex. Hit him again. Whoo, that was close. God damn. Chuggy, chug, chuggy. I think that's because of the anti-aliasing. Because when I record older games, if there's no anti-aliasing, even if it was like Far Cry 3 or Far Cry 4, it doesn't chug at all. There's nothing else in here. Three more pieces of scrap. I don't know. I tried to record Arkham Knight once and it was just... It's like it dropped to 20 frames a second. Even though when you go into the ENI file, you can set it to record, uh, not record. You can set the gameplay to cap of uh, any frame seconds you want. I have it set to 120. People were complaining about the 30 frames per second cap and it's like that's one of the oldest tricks in the book is to be able to go in and customize what the frame limit is. Right now I'm sitting at 40 and that's not acceptable. 60, 65, 54, 63. Oh yeah, your abilities you can get. Like uh, more benefits from food, use less fuel while out exploring, things like that. The cars run out of gas. I forgot to tell you that. Let's see. Need to find more scrap. How many more? Three more. And two more insignias. Six. There's an insignia. I'm going to have to shoot that one. Uh, or a zip line, I guess, but then there's no way back up. What is this? Ooh, 
Thunderstick. Thunderstick is an explosive weapon that can be thrown to impale enemies at close range. There you go. Cool. 71%, but you can stay and collect everything else. I'm going to finish up collecting everything and uh, do everything else. I'm going to cut the video out here because it's already kind of long. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you take away from my videos that you don't have to spend, you know, thousands of dollars on a computer to play video games. Thanks for watching, guys.